Well, the popular game, now a rare Pokemon Go nightmare. Hundreds of people are swarming to a suburb in Rancho Cordova to play. Players say they're hunting for what they call rare varieties of Pokemon, but parents say it's causing major traffic hazards. So why is Pokemon Go invading this particular suburb? Well, CBS 13's Lamore Abrams is getting answers on the rare Pokemon phenomenon. Well, this is a small, peaceful suburb of new homes in Rancho Cordova, but neighbors say it suddenly turned into a zoo with hundreds of Pokemon players traveling from as far as the Bay Area on the hunt for rare, high-value characters. Pokemon Go has been blamed for all kinds of problems, from trespassing to disrespecting memorials to crashing into law enforcement. People who aren't walking where they're driving. But in the peaceful suburb of Anatolia, the complaints boil down to... Chaos. My sister almost got hit by a car because they're all speeding and using their phones at the same time. Yeah, people are driving and playing. There'll be whole cars full of people. Uh, when they go to attack, you can dodge. James Wakeley says the community has been identified as a farm for valuable virtual animals. They call it a spawning point or a nest. Oh, yeah, there's a ton of gems right there. Ten year old Isadora Murphy explains these uncommon creatures result in triple monster points because of intersecting pokey stops. But there's a park here, a park down there. There's a sand, there's another park further than that one, and then there's the park that's just down there. I've written countless number of citations out of here for this. But apparently traffic tickets haven't slowed down this treasure hunt. It's driving and texting on steroids. Philip Latenzer heads the Homeowners Association. He's planning town halls with the city, fire, and police departments to reach a resolution. Is it a traffic problem or is it a Pokemon problem? Now, the makers of Pokemon Go tell CBS 13 they're overwhelmed with requests to remove Pokemon Go sites, and they're trying to review all those requests. For information on how to remove Pokemon Go sites, visit our website, cbs13.com. Now, Pokemon Go creators also say they're working on a system update to let real-world locations opt out as Pokestops. There's still no official timeline for when those updates will be available. Now, we received this story from a viewer, and if you have a story idea, let us know. You can use Twitter, Facebook, or send us an email to news at kovr.com.